Hello, welcome to uh, Riding Times on Revelator Health. So, uh, I'm actually in the glorious uh, wooded areas uh, just south of Newbury uh, in Berkshire. And basically, I'm going to go and explore a few trails uh, <coughs> on the old faithful machine here. And I'm going to be heading off down there. So, I've never actually been down here before. Um, I've plotted a route. It's actually taken me quite a while to get here this morning. Lots of traffic and hold up and, and stuff like that. And rail crossings that uh, were all closed off so anyway eventually got here um, and this is going to take me through the forest down the hills out onto the plains and then I'm going to try and find a few other trails on along the way hopefully they'll be passable there's a disused railway that I want to try and get it to now I haven't been having a lot of luck with these recently because I tried to do one yesterday and the day before in another location and it didn't quite work out anyway but uh it's in the box, great day. It's been threatening with rain, but it's been all right. The trails are starting to, you know, uh, get a little bit muddy now. We've had a bit of rain recently, so we'll see how they go. Uh, got some extra equipment in the top box. Going through the trees, there's always fallen branches and stuff. I've had to hack my way through. So I've actually gone out and uh, invested in a folding saw, and uh, I've always carried a uh, <coughs> camping axe as well. You might think that's a bit extreme. But believe me, when you've got very narrow trails and you've got trees or, or branches, thick branches that, you know, have been cut across or fallen across, you know, you're going to use a lot of energy, which I have done in the past, just trying to, you know, clear the path. So, you know, anything that makes that work a lot lighter is going to be a good thing. Anyway, hope you enjoy this riding times. Hope you enjoy uh, what you're about to see and uh, see you on the other end. Cheers. Okay. Right, let's give it a go. Okay, so basically what I've done, uh, set up the bike now, I've actually turned the traction control off. Um, what I'm finding is that on this bike, that um, when you start wanting to go up hills and the uh, surface is a bit loose, it just cuts the engine power. So, you know, whereas you want to really kind of add a bit, a bit of oomph to it, it just sort of cuts it out. So. I'm going to try it without uh, the traction control and see if that uh, improves it uh, somewhat. Anyway, let me just bring this visor down. Now, I'm hoping I don't have to use any of the kit I'm carrying with me today, but you never know with these things. So uh, I'm going through the forest and just uh, give it a go. And I'm just going to, you know, it's a, it's a track that I've never been to before. I am conscious that there might be some wet patches right at the bottom here, so I am uh, no, uh, this way, yeah. Just making sure that I can get through. Hello. There we go. This place is just farm trails right now, aren't they? They are byways, of course. Let's see how they go. Okay, I thought it was going to be a bit more than that. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. All right, see where the next stage takes me. Pretty much coming to the end of the byway here. I know there are lots of trails in the trees there, but I've got a plan in mind today. I can always come back and visit those trails another day. All right, so here, go straight over. A bit oldie worldy uh, signs, byway signs. So I've not been here before, as I say, so it's uh, it's all new for me as well. <laughs> this, you know, as byways go, I mean, this is pretty damn fine, actually, isn't it? I mean, this is just truck riding. And I say, it never ceases to amaze me. The the difference uh, 
European sort of conditions and the difference in uh, types of byways that you have. You know, sometimes you can be just, you know, just wide enough, literally wide enough to get the bike through and sometimes barely even that. They're more like a footpath than anything. And other times it's, you know, you can get a whole 4x4 four four down, you know, anything down here. So it's, uh, yeah, a bit of an interesting one really, byways. I will say about, you know, when you're off-road riding, especially when you get into the thick of it, I mean, into the, you know, there's lots of sort of trees and high bushes and stuff like that. You know, have your visor down, or if you've got a, like a motocross helmet, whatever, have, you know, goggles, always wear your goggles. Because the amount of times you get flicked in the face or in the head, you know, with by branches and, you know, whatever, twigs and stuff like that, and, you know, bramble, brambles and things, you know, so, yeah, just uh, keep it down, protect your eyes. I had a very lucky escape a couple of months ago, two, three months ago, where I momentarily just lifted up my visor and then I just went through this bramble, just cut right across my face, cut my nose, just missed my eye. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's just that one moment when you think, oh, yeah, I'd be all right, and then that's it. So, you know, it's we all have to remind ourselves every now and again, you know, of uh, what is a good idea and what isn't a good idea. Alright, let's just keep on going here. This is nice. Okay, so we're on to, well, continuing on to the byway, but this is just a, a drive now, so I can see the houses on the left-hand side. Right, so i uh, just get to the end of this and then there'll be another little uh, bit of road bit and then on to some more stuff uh, in a while. Right, so basically what I tried to do back there was uh, to get onto a disused railway section. Uh, but there was no access. I thought there would be, uh, I th there was marked an open trail there onto it, but it's, uh, they're all footpaths, so, and they're all sort of tight footpaths as well. Um, so, unable to get onto those. I think I might just give up with those now. So this is the byway, isn't it? Yeah. Morning. Hello. No, no, I don't want to just—I don't want to scare the dogs. That's all. <laughs> okay. Right. Onwards and upwards. Right. So let's see where we got because there's quite a few intersecting trails here so I'll go that way I'll go this way, yeah Nice 
nice. I do like these trails with really high hedges, but they're quite wide as well. See what I mean about the brambles? Keep your visor down and it just works a lot better. Because I've had to take a bit of a detour off my planned route, uh, I'm going to have to consult the old Maparu in a minute. And um, so, because I want to get, I want to ride all the all the um, byways that I'd mapped. It was like one big circuit, so I was able to do it. It's what, but now because of that, it's gone. That plan has gone out the window. I'm not going to rethink the whole thing. So let's just see where I get to first of all. Okay, so this is the byway. Let me just have a look here. Pull over. Two couple of seconds. Yeah. Okay. So. That was that, that was that, that was that. Right, okay, so what I'll do, I'll double back, double back, go down there, and then I'll come down here again. Right, okay. Lovely. I do love these old bars, I gotta say. They really are cool. A lot of these tracks, these kind of, well, they're byways, of course, but you know, any sort of tracks that have got, they've been covered in stone, which is really great, don't get me wrong. Um, but they do take chunks out of your tyres, I and mean, I've noticed this on these uh, Anarchy Wilds that I've got on. Uh, you know, their chunks been taken out of them, and this is, you know, from all these sharp stones that you're kind of getting over. So I'm not saying avoid them, but what I'm saying is, you know, just get be, be aware for. Some bit of tyre wear there, and I don't usually ride in the middle actually. And I, I, I do prefer to tend to ride in the tracks, but sometimes you know, oh, there you go. And you'll see from the sides, if I go over to the side here, you can see how close you're getting to all the, the stuff that's sticking out from the side as well. So sometimes just actually staying in the middle just works out a lot better, you know. All right, okay. Oh, I'll do. I'll go up that one now. Nice. You know, I actually thought they were going to be quite, quite wet. These, uh, some of these tracks, because we did actually have a, quite a dumping of water. And I don't live a million miles away from here, and uh, yeah, uh, well, they've either soaked it up or, you know, they didn't get any rain here last night. I think there's any rain, because you've got a lot of wind, it dries it out quite quickly, you know, the, the, the wind effect, if you like. All right, let me see where I am. Okay, yeah, it's still a long way to go on here. Just keep it in the low gear, let it sort of roll down, cover with the brakes if need to. There we go. I mean, I don't know about you guys, you know, watching this, listen, but you know, I'm never ever in a rush, you know, off road. You know, even even when I kind of have the ability to really put my foot down, you know, I, I you know, open it up, I, I tend not to, you know. Um, 
there've been very rare occasions you know because what well, one you know as i say you know i like to see what's around me i like the environment I like being involved you know uh, immersed in it but also i just i just think you know it's um you know you're rushing around you you tend to you tend to miss the little things and that could catch you out you know so uh yeah, and I suppose I'm talking to to those, especially those who are, who are quite inexperienced in sort of off-road riding. Um, you know, others who are really experienced it. Now I can go as fast as I want. Well, yeah, that's up to you, of course. You know, but and if if you can handle it. But I think you know, for most people, you know, just chugging along, you know, low revs, you know, works works a lot better. You know, and that's the thing. If you can help it, keep your levs keep your revs down try not to spin the back tire I mean I've got my traction control off today because uh, I really wanted to see if it um, you know if it would work better going on uphill part uh, with it, when you really need to keep that back tire you know going now uh, the problem is you don't want the back tire to spin, but unfortunately, you know, no matter how you try, every now and again it's going to spin. So if you've got that and you're going uphill, and then all of a sudden, because of the mapping, because uh, you're off road mapping and you know whatever, uh, it's it's telling the uh, engine to shut down its power. That's when you're kind of. Uh, yeah, that's when it gets a bit fruity, really. So. Yeah, let me turn around here. Um, so, let me just make sure I'm in the right place. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to have to double back here. Right, so, you know, it's always wise just to, you know, if you're going uphill, you want to keep that momentum going uphill. And I found the other day, I got halfway up, back tyre started, well, it's happened about three or four times recently, I've got to say. Back tyre started to slip out, and then I just lost power completely lost power and and then it just ground to a halt uh so when i was stationary then obviously you know you try starting uphill again a really steep incline on a bike yeah and the back tire was just spilling out i was just uh i put all my weight on the back but just no good so i had to basically uh, turn the bike around go downhill and you know do you know what it was it was all right it was an exercise but I felt defeated and I don't really like to be feel defeated by these things especially when I know that the bike is completely capable of doing it so then I started thinking about it well I should have attacked it a lot more or I should have you know it was my fault so you start beating yourself up a little bit and then I thought well hold on a minute why why is that engine power just dropping off when I need it most and then I thought aha I wonder if it's in the settings. I wonder you have to modify the off-road settings to be able to do it. And that's, unfortunately, that is the problem with the, the all the modern bikes. You know, it's it's less of, you know, the old manual control, and it's all, you know, it's all about the, you know, the mapping sometimes, which you've got to kind of find a way to overcome. Now, don't get me wrong. These, you know, these bikes are brilliant these days, and 99.99% of the time, there isn't a drama at all. It's absolutely fine. But every now and again, it um, it does become a bit of an issue, you know. And that's why they got the ben you got the benefit of um, being able to switch all this stuff off, you know. So they're obviously aware of it. Right, so this is quite a steep climb. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and go up the uh, the middle bit where all the the stuff will be. See if I can get this back tire stepping out. See, yeah, I'm not losing engine power. Yeah, absolutely right. It's it's a it's a traction control thing. So whereas before, even on there, going up steep hill, um, every time the rear wheel would slip out, it would momentarily try to shut the engine down. Just I want to say shut down. Just you know, a little bit reduce the power. Now I could see that it was bumping. You know, it was gripping, then letting go, gripping, then letting go the rear tire. 
because I had the engine power still high. As soon as it bit, it came now you've got to be careful because you know as soon as it bites, you can launch yourself again. So that's uh, let me get this right this time. Uh, but you know, using it wisely, it gets you out of a jam quite quickly. You know. Beauty. Well, these are great. Look at this. Wow. It says, right, so I can't do that. Lovely. Right. On to the next bit. That's good, huh? Right then, well, I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, yeah, just me just sort of chatting away. Catch you on the next one, whenever that is. Cheers now.